بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایکسپریس انٹری ڈرا نمبر 180 مارچ 31 2021 ٹو ہنڈریڈ ایٹی فور آئی آل آف دی ادر انفارمیشن از سم تھنگ یو کین فائنڈ آؤٹ آن دی آفیشیل ویب سائٹ بٹ دا پوائنٹ آف دس ویڈیو از ناٹ ٹو بریگ آن دیٹ دیٹ ٹو ڈیز اے گو آئی اپلوڈیڈ اے ویڈیو اینڈ آئی ہیڈ اینٹیسپیٹیڈ اے پی این پی ڈرا فالوئنگ بائی اے سی ای سی ڈرا but that fact does not make me happy because obviously as i always say that the beautification of this process is through fsw programs so fsw programs if they do not resume then the beautification of this process lowers down so th- uh, this is the point i'm trying to make well anyway obviously people who have been getting nominations from pnp um, obviously pnp is not easy they must have gone through excessive measures uh, to gain those PNP nominations. So hats off to them and uh, congratulations to those people whose CRS was above 778. But the point I wanted to highlight here was that uh, if you see the tie-breaking rule, that is March 16, I'm not sure if you can uh, see on this mobile, and today is march 31st so it was about a fortnight ago so i mean people have been gaining pnp nominations this is uh, something uh, i wanted to highlight through pnp program draws i would be making videos on that soon i would select i would pick a few pnp programs and when they conduct their draws I would start making videos on that. That is uh, a plan I have for this channel, all right? When I uploaded the last video on PNP draw, PNP specific draw, two people, two subscribers, two future Canadians, they asked me that which provinces issued those nominations. Uh, therefore, I wanted to explain in this video that what is a PNP specific draw? Basically, this is not a PNP draw for any specific province like it is not an SINP draw it is not an Alberta PNP draw it is not an Ontario PNP draw people who were drawn out in in this session in this draw uh, they were the ones who already had their PNP nominations for example if somebody had PNP nomination from Alberta that was obviously Uh, after getting selected by the AINP, getting a notification of interest and then submitting their application, including all their documents. And once AINP, Alberta Immigration Nomination Program, goes through all those documents, then they issue them a nomination. That nomination then later on increase the CRS points of that candidate by 600 points. 600 points are for nomination. So let's say if a person had 350 CRS and he got nomination from Alberta, then his points will be 950, 350 plus 600, 950. Now, when we look at the uh, CRS distribution of uh, express entry pool that was issued on their website, it says that people between 601 and 1200 are 269. So that shows us two things. First, 1200 is the maximum CRS a person can get whether he has a PNP nomination, a job offer or whatever. 1200 is the maximum CRS that he can get. All right. They issued 284 ITAs. But the number written here is 269 for the people who are 601 plus. All right. So that shows that uh, there are still some people. who are above 600 CRS and they are lying in the express entry pool uh, and they were not drawn, drawn out in this draw. Okay, so that is another point related to PNP. And uh, when we see an all program draw, if we see an all program draw, these people will be the first ones to get an ITA because their score will obviously be above the CRS cutoff. All right. So PNP nomination is something else. It comes through your PNP program for, for, for SINP, for AINP, for OINP, Manitoba, um, and New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, whichever PNP program you had applied for, you will get a nomination for that. And then 
those nominated people were selected in today's draw. This is what uh, PNP specific draw stands for. I hope this is clear. And uh, I hope those two subscribers who asked the question in the last video, they would come to know about it. Because I think I uh, explained it sufficient enough. Okay. So March 29th was the CRS distribution. And uh, we don't see a drastic change in the number of people who are above 470. And typically, the people who are getting into the pool above 470, they are usually, they are CEC class, Canadian Experience class. And I said in the last video that uh, CRS, uh, expected CRS range for the people having Canadian Experience, uh, they would be getting their uh, ITAs tomorrow. And if they get an ITA, uh, in the next draw, then I've already given my anticipation and my estimate. Okay, so if you have not still watched my CRS prediction video, I will try to leave an end card uh, so that you can go on to that video and you can watch that video. Now, if you're new here on this channel, please consider subscribing because on this channel, I give all the tips and tricks so that you can do the Canadian immigration process yourself by yourself and uh, especially if, if, if you were applying through Express Entry FSW program or CEC program in these two scenarios you don't really need any external help like from a consultant or a seasoned immigration um, aspirant I mean you can do it yourself if you go through the CIC website you can do it yourself PNP programs they are slightly trickier not in terms of nominating the uh, candidates, but in terms of uh, documentation. That is uh, my, my first impression because obviously there are many people on this channel who are having problems getting their HEC attestation. Especially Pakistani aspirants who are going through HEC attestation, they are having problem with their HEC attestation. They are having problem in making a profile on the HEC portal. So for those people, I can imagine that the documentation for a PNP program like Saskatchewan would be a little difficult, but that does not fit all the profiles. So you can decide better. But before going for a consultant or anything, you need to first get your ECA done and your IELTS done. And this is what I tell all of my subscribers whenever they ask me for my recommendation for a consultant. All right. This is Alif Takar and I hope uh, FSW draws are resumed soon.